Grace Mugabe not welcome in MDC. MDC alliance leader and presidential hopeful Nelson Chamisa has reiterated his previous position that former First Lady Grace Mugabe has no place in his government if he is voted into office today. This follows social media reports that the former First Family, particularly ex-President Robert Mugabe's wife, Grace, has been funding the MDC alliance. In fact, there were public outbursts by ZANU PF mandarins and their sympathizers that Grace could be appointed into the top echelons of Chamisa's government if MDC alliance is to emerge victorious in today's polls. Chamisa, however, told journalists in Harare yesterday that he has no intentions of working with Mugabe's wife. He accused his main rival, President Emerson Ngagwa, of attempting to drag his party into ZANU-PF's squabbles with Mugabe. There is this misconception, and I must clear it once and for all. There is no role for Grace Mugabe in my government. This is desperation by ZANU-PF which has its own issues with the Mugabes and they want to try and export their own troubles and worries, he said. Please, leave me alone Ngagwa deal with your old man. You have disappointed him. He is very disappointed. Please make your ways and make your amends," added Chamisa. Mugabe has refused to recognize Ngagwa's government saying it assumed power through illegal means. This was after the 94-year-old former ZANU-PF leader was ousted from power through a de facto coup last November. Following his ouster, Mugabe has been linked to the National Patriotic Front, which has since split due to internal wrangling over its leadership. Yesterday, Mugabe told journalists at his palatial Borodale mansion that he will not be voting for ZANU-PF, throwing his weight behind Chamisa. If elected into office today, the MDC alliance leader said he would work with every Zimbabwean, saying Mugabe would also be welcome to attend his inauguration. I am going to meet every citizen at my inauguration. Mugabe is free to come there, said Chamisa. I have nothing to do with what Mugabe has to say, he is a citizen of this country. It is not my duty, as a candidate, to go and choose voters, mine is to be chosen. You do not choose, you do not discriminate against voters. The more the merrier. The 40-year-old presidential hopeful said his biggest task would be to unite the nation and not continue to look into the past. He accused ZANU-PF of contributing to the ongoing economic crisis ravaging the southern African nation, resulting in more than 80% of citizens being unemployed. Chamisa said he will refuse to accept to Ngagwa victory claiming it would be a result of a stolen vote and the suppression of the will of the people. Any outcome that will have Ngagwa as a victor is not an election but fiction. I have said this again and again, we are very clear of the will of the people. It is not as if this election is being conducted on the planet Mars, this is an earthly election, which will happen in Zimbabwe. We know what the people want and the people have spoken and what we are going to do tomorrow is only to confirm and exercise the will of the people. We will not accept any skullduggery, shenanigans, corruption or manipulation of the election. I have said this to Ngagwa. I said, to him, let us meet and talk and agree on the way forward. Nation building requires all hands. But he keeps running away from me but now he cannot run away, since, we are meeting on the ballot, today, Chamisa said.